Hi Flosstube, it's Darlene with Darlene Dion Designs here on YouTube, on Etsy, on Facebook, and on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe and I hope you like what you see and hear. I design and sell cross stitch patterns and quilting patterns and sometimes project bags. I have a couple to show you today in my Etsy shop. Um, yeah, it's been over a month since I seen you last. Uh, my last day to post was, or to film was February the 8th. So I'm a little behind, just busy life, <laughs> hibernating. <laughs> yeah, no, the weather's been really good here. Uh, we've had a few days of nasty winter weather, but that's to be expected. Um, for those that have been here before and have been here from the beginnings, thank you so much for coming back and for, and for liking and subscribing and all that. It makes me very happy. I love this community so much. Uh, if you were here last time, uh, I want to thank you all so much on your sweet comments about my cancer anniversary, cancer, cancer free anniversary. I celebrated eight, uh, 13 years cancer free that day. And I was thrilled to be able to say that. Um, and also I mentioned that my son was away for work in very near to the North Pole. He got home two weeks ago tomorrow and then him and his girlfriend uh, went south. They're, so they're uh, in Mexico now. And I'm dog sitting. My husband and I are dog sitting. So we have two dogs with us today and you may hear music playing in the background. I'm sure you will, but I've, tr I've tried to keep it fairly low because every little sound that one of the dogs is a blue healer and one of the dogs is a Chewini. And the blue healer, every little sound he hears outside, he thinks it's someone coming to take us away, I think. <laughs> Like even just a crow calling, you know, he has a, he has a heart failure. <laughs> so I've got some low music on hoping that that will distract him and he won't hear every little new noise. He's laying right here beside me. And, and, and this one's name is Ozzy and the other one is Abby. I think I showed pictures of them last summer when I was house sitting, house sitting at their house. Anyway, so they're here with us for another week or so. And they're very good, well-behaved dogs and I enjoy them. Um, you may remember, I think I told you I asked my kids for a puppy for Christmas <laughs> and that didn't happen, but, uh, I am leaning towards that for myself. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you've been here, you know that, uh, I'm celebrating my 60th birthday this year and this is my birthday month. Uh, my birthday is on the 22nd and I will be 60 and to celebrate that I am doing 60 starts at 60. So I have a hashtag 60 at 60 and there's another one 60 at 60. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I'll put them in the show notes. Um, yeah, so I'm on number, I think I have achieved 16 so far and I have plans for at least two more this month, maybe three, maybe four. I'm not sure. I want to do some spring pieces and I do have a big one planned for my birthday start. Um, and I forgot to bring that one in. It's um, in all things be exceedingly diligent. I love that one. I think it's, no, I better not say who the designer is because I'll likely get it wrong. Anyway, so I'm, I'm leaning towards that for my birthday start. Um, I have had some pretty big starts already this year and I, I'm, I'm not really feeling overwhelmed by it, but I, I don't have the time to get back to them. Um, I had the Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, uh, that was a new start. I had the um, Heaven in Nature by Kathy Barrick. I had uh, the winter sampler. I've got all these things here to show you. Well, not all of them because I haven't stitched on all of them since I started. But anyway, I've, I've had some pretty big starts. So I did contemplate doing a, a, short, a smaller start for my birthday, but I don't know. I'll, I'll decide be before then what how that goes. 
So, uh, also I'd like to mention um, Somi Sarah and Flossie Sews and Grows. They are celebrating their 50th birthday this year and they are doing 50 starts at 50. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I have a, I have a bag full of patterns that I'm hoping to get started this year. But like I said, I am gonna try to do a few smaller ones rather than all big ones. Um, some of them, uh, I think three of the 16 that I've got started, I've not been able to show you yet because they're my own designs and haven't got them finished. I got up this morning intending to finish one of them. And I can't lay my hands on it anywhere. I don't have a clue. I have a stack of finished pieces ready to be FFO'd and I was sure it was in there and I've gone through that stack four times. It's not there. I've gone through my container full of linen. It's not there. I've gone down to my office where I chart everything at the computer. It's not there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we've been watching Death in Paradise lately and um, one of the detectives says he's looked high up and low down and that's me. I've looked high up and low down for this chart, for this piece, and I can't find it. But it is a small piece, so if it has somehow gone amongst the missing, hopefully not in the garbage. Um, it's not a huge deal to restitch it, but it would be so much nicer to come across it. And it would be nice not to restitch it and then come across it the next day. That would be typical of me. Anyway, so I have no FFOs today. I was going to have that one today, but it didn't happen. Um, I do have a couple of finishes, and I just realized uh, I have my notes. Just let me look here. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm good. So, my finishes this month. Uh, or yeah, it's been a month. Um, I have one finish. Um, I'm, I'm participating in the, oh my, Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting Sal that Mama Loves You GB started. And the hashtag for that is PNP six, the word, I think, houses 2024. Sal, I think. <laughs> I'll put that in the show notes. <laughs> anyway, so my first one, I'm starting one every second month on the second day of the month. And my first one this year was Edna Viola's Salt Box. So this is slightly, well, quite a bit different coloring than what Melissa stitched her, her model. I changed the house colors and I changed the red. The red is 347, DMC 347. And I don't have what the house colors are. If you're interested, let me know. I'll look back. I'm pretty sure it's in my in my Instagram post. I can look back and see what they are. So I really love this one. It's nice for my sewing room. I have a little collection of tomato pieces up here beside me on a shelf. So I think I'll finish that and Put that there with with my other tomato pieces so it's very cute i'm stitched i've stitched it on 28 count mushroom lagana and i must apologize i don't have anything ironed today it just didn't happen <laughs> had everything in the pile ready to go before i remember and it's like a precarious pile i didn't want to take it apart <laughs> uh so that was my first finish and then my second finish is Waxing Moon Designs, I love all of their house trios. Love them. And I've done the summer house trio, and I decided to do the, the winter house trio. So I started this, hmm, I think I started it oh, I think I started it in the fall, actually. Yeah, I did. So, oh. <laughs> So this is my finish on that. Pretty sure it's all the called for colors. Pretty sure. 
and it is stitched on 32 count Steinbeck from Shepherd's Needle. And it's two over two DMCs. I love it. Um, Waxing Moon had post, I think it was Waxing Moon. Mm, I wonder if I have a picture of it. Um, it might not have been Waxing Moon. Someone posted a picture of three the three houses in a basket. And when I saw them, I thought, oh, yes, I need to stitch that and put them all in a basket. And you might know the phone, the picture is on my phone instead of my iPad. But anyway, it's really, really cute. And it really inspired me to, to do the to do a little basket. So I started that and finished the first one. And then in the next few months, I'll start the second one. I'd like to have all three done by next, next year, next winter. They are on my list of 60 starts for the year. So we'll see how that goes. So those are my two F, uh, my two finishes for the month. And then uh, I have several start. Oh, and I, w I meant to show you my book of days this is my first year to do a book of days and I'm enjoying it so much um, so this is my February uh, there were four days in February that I didn't get to stitch there there and these two days and these are my stickers that my daughter had done for me and um, I was away we went to my daughter's for a weekend, this weekend here. Um, and then the reason we went was because I was, I'm sorry, I was doing a trunk show in Westville, which is near Pictou in Nova Scotia. And so I did a trunk show for my quilts and cross stitch pieces, which was a lot of fun, a really great group of ladies. It was a Saturday afternoon thing and it was very pleasant. My daughter went with me. It, it, it's about an hour's drive from her house. So that worked out really well. And then the Monday before that, I did a workshop in Morden, which is on the Fundy Shore in the Annapolis Valley. And I did a workshop there for my friend Wilbur, my snowman wool applique piece. So that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. And um, I have several more shows coming up. Um, um, May is especially busy always with that. I don't have any stickers on my March yet but I have been faithfully stitching away and filling in my calendar, really enjoying it. So much, it's so convenient when you get ready to do your floss stitch, floss stitch, floss tube, to be able to look in your calendar and see all the pieces you need to pull out. It's really, before I had to rely on my memory. That was a joke. Okay, I have had several starts. Let's look at those. Um, when, when you were here a month ago, when I, when I posted a month ago, I told you, I'm pretty sure I told you that I was going to do a anniversary start that day for my 13th cancer-free anniversary. Okay, there's that one. So this is my start on that. And this was a free pattern. And I have a picture here. It's a free pattern from Stitches Through the Years. And of course, it's way up here somewhere. And my friend Lee, Creative Lee on Floss Tube, she stitched it and personalized it. And that gave me the, whoops, that's not what I want. Lost it. <laughs> Oh my, I'm losing it. There it is, okay. <laughs> so, it's not a great cover shot of it, but that's, it's just called Black Sampler. I'm pretty sure she designed it for um, the Black November Sampler Sal that happens every year. Anyway, so Lee creatively uh, has a floss tube and you can look at her mm, probably three episodes ago, maybe more. 
she did a really great personalization of it. And so that inspired me to use this. That's a needle there. Just ignore that. <laughs> and I'm stitching it on a 36 count antique linen. The color is antique linen. And I'm doing one over one with just 310 black. So I really love it and I enjoy stitching it very much. And then also I start, oh, I lost it again. Lost where I was again. I, my mom had a birthday that same week. So if you were here, you would have seen that I mentioned that. And I wanted to do a start for to celebrate her birthday. And I love this piece. I've had it saved for a long time. Bless our nest. Oh. <laughs> I'm having real good luck with this today, aren't I? Where did it? There it is. Keep my fingers off of things if I can. I love this. My mom loved to feed the birds and watch the birds when she was at her own house. And um, yeah, if you've been around for a while, you know that she lives in a nursing home now. So it's called Bless Our Nest and it's a Sub Rosa design. So I'm stitching that on the other side of this black, of this same linen that I'm doing the black sampler on. So that's my small start on that. And so I started that on the 10th. That was her birthday. So anyway, those are those two little starts. Um, March the 2nd, I started my second Pinker and Pumpkin piece. And the one I chose for March is the green spring green salt box I think it's called anyway it's it's lovely very pretty and I have a picture of that one there too I can find it um, here we go Okay, so I'm stitching it on 36 count mystery linen. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it might be doubloon, but it might also be relic. I can't remember what it is. Anyway, but I really love it. I'm stitching it with the cult four colors at this. No, I changed the rose. I changed the, the red to 3721. Anyway, um, but I think I used the cult for green. Anyway, and I'm stitching one over one. So, that little start. Um, another start that I had, and I can't remember specifically why, except that I've had it in my iPad for years and wanted to do it. Um... <clears throat> This is a design that I got from the magazine that everybody says backwards. Prim Punch needle and primitive stitch works, maybe. Something like that. So I got this pattern from there. And I love it. And I've wanted to stitch it for years. And this is Dancer. And this one is a, a Barbara Anna design. So cute, so, so cute. Anyway, um, so I have a very small start on that and a needle in the way and a thread hanging. I uh, think that's upright. Nope. Yep, <laughs> this, is, this is it, I think. Anyway, and I'm stitching it on I'm stitching one over one on 25 count Lugana. And I can't remember if it's putty or puddle. I don't think it's puddle. 
I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a medium gray color. So I'm using DMCs and very small start there. And it's in my little Hemingway bag that we did a workshop at our guild for this in the fall. It's a fun project. Hemingway, they're all over Instagram right now. Everybody and their dog is making them. Um, okay. This week, last week, we had a workshop at Guild, at our quilt guild this is, for a bag. Uh, what was the name of this bag? I can't remember. Anyway, I made a bigger version so that I could use it for a project bag. And I have B fabric, B positive, B leave in yourself, have high rules, be kind, be honest, be respectful, be positive, be grateful, all kinds of B words. And I used this bag for my leap year start. And I had, um, if you've been around for a while, you know that I had a friend pass a lot of cross-stitch supplies on to me from a friend that had passed away. And there were several kitted up projects there. And I, I just can't believe the, how many beautiful pieces there are there. Anyway, this was in there. And this is one that I had been wanting to start for a long time. And I also, in that, I also have, um, It's like the sister chart to this. <laughs> Can't remember. Anyway, um, she charted the other one first, Heartstring charted the other one first. And then I think she did this one six years later. I think it was six years. And she has, uh, she mentions in the notes how she has branched out in her colors quite a bit. And yes, the other one is much more muted earthy tones where this one has a lot a lot of happy colors and that's why I chose this one I love them both and I'd love to do them both so I started this one I don't love the Adam and Eve I don't have anything against Adam and Eve samplers it's lovely and I have a lot that I came that came in this um collection from my friend but this I just don't think I'm going to put Adam and Eve in this one. I'm going to put a man and a woman, but I think I'm going to dress them and, and I'm not going to put the snake in the tree. And just, it's just not the, the, the look I'm going for with this. So I think we're going to make that slight change, but I really love it. And it's a lot of fun to stitch. I'm stitching it on. Oh, don't tell me. I'm stitching it on 36 count winter brew by R, &R Reproductions. <clears throat> I'm using all the call floor flosses. They're so pretty and they're a mess. <laughs> but there's some really great color in there. So that'll be fun. And then I'll show you the actual piece. Not a whole lot done. I think I've only stitched on it two maybe three days so that's my start and because it's part of this leap year sal i have four years to get it done so in this book i don't want to show you the chart but this is a, a, a 24 page pattern there's 24 pages so my aim is to do 20 just to do a half a page each month for 48 months excuse me and um, I'm going to try to stitch on the 29th of each month. Well, next year in February, I'll, I won't be, but yeah. So hopefully that works out. Uh, it's very, I'm enjoying it very much. So that's that. That's one of those, another one of those big starts for the year that it's you know it's not overwhelming but I don't want 
to end up the year with a ton of huge starts and no time to make progress on them and no finishes. Okay, uh, this is Heaven and Nature. Heaven and Nature Sing by Kathy Barrick. And I started this one, I think it was either, um, might have been January 1st, might have been that week. Uh, yeah, I started it on January the 5th. And like I said, I have not had much time to stitch on it, but I did get down to get a start on the deer. So it's very enjoyable stitching. It is 37 count corn tassel. And it's the first time I've stitched on 37 count and I loved it. Love, love, love stitching that count. Didn't even know. Now, since then I've stitched on 40 and yeah. Uh, it's funny because now when I stitch on something that's 28 count and two threads, it's not nearly as enjoyable for me. So the only reason I'm gonna be stitching anything on 28 and even some 32s will be because I've already got something started in that fabric or in that series. Uh, this is Home Sweet Home and I'm stitching this as a sampler for one of my grandmothers. And I'm stitching it on 32 count Lucan, which I love the fabric, Lucan. It's kind of very wrinkled, I'm sorry. I'm using Schoolhouse th uh, Red by Simply Shaker. Simply Shaker Schoolhouse Red. And it's um, really fun stitching. It is 32 count and I'm doing two over two. I'm trying to remember what I added this month. Mm, here. I think some along here and up here maybe. Not sure. Anyway, I was trying, I was trying to use this as a daily thread stitch, but it hasn't happened <laughs> as much as I would like. So, uh, okay, another whip. I am participating in the Quaker Flag Sow. And I don't think I mentioned earlier, if you're new here, I'm from Nova Scotia, Canada. So I'm doing the Canadian flag by Vivsters that so many people are participating in the flag. So, get that needle out of there. And I have one Quaker done. <laughs> I'm stitching one over one on 25 count white. And I had a middle start. So, Anyway, it's fun. I enjoy it, but it's not something I reach to pick. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not something I reach to pick up every day. That's for sure. So anyway, but again, I'm not in any hurry. It's that's another big start. <laughs> it would have been a good. I'm going to try to adjust this back where we were. Okay, it would have been a good. Um, Leap day start too. Uh, you could have, I don't know how many Quaker squares there are, but you could have divided them by the number of months or whatever in the four years, which would have been a good, good way to do that. Um, this is my anniversary start from last fall. Our anniversary is in October and this year we will celebrate 40 years. And I wanted to have an anniversary start that I had hoped I could finish by next year. Now, whether that happens or not, I'm not sure. But it's from the Let Love Rain book from Teresa Kogut. And it's on the back cover and it's Love Your Family. And I love this so much. Love it. Just, it just, the saying is exactly how I feel about today, <laughs> about the world today. Anyway, 
I really love it but I have not got a whole lot done. I stitched on this the last couple of days and I finished the roof. The roof has, it's hard to see it, but it's a checkered roof with an onyx and a brown DMC. So you really can't see it unless you're right up close. So I finished the roof and I finished the frame and now I'm gonna start the house color and the windows and doors. So I knew I needed to, to get at that or I, there was no way I would have it done for our anniversary. And I still might not have it done for our anniversary, but I'll try and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm, I'm stitching it with the called four colors. There's DMCs and I think it's Gentle Arts, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh, I've got lots of whips. It's so good. Um... After what, after seeing on Instagram, Stitchy Linda's beautiful, beautiful um, winter sampler, which is Crochetta Go Go, I think is the designer. Yeah, it is Crochetta Go Go. Look at the pattern early. I decided that I needed to do that. And I had been wanting to do it since I first seen the sampler come out, but I held off <laughs> and the more I watched Lindy uh Stitchy Stitchy Linda show hers the more I knew I was I just caved and and purchased it and I just I love it so much I'm stitching this on 40 count vintage country mocha and I was very excited to get the border all the way in and everything matched up woohoo <laughs> And I have some work up here on this corner. And I started the inside border. So it is very pleasant to stitch on. Very, very pleasant project so far. And I can't wait to get to the owl and the other critters. And oh, it's just so beautiful. Anyway, Linda finished hers in the last couple of weeks, I think, and it is just stunning, just stunning. And if you've had any thoughts of doing it, just uh, Kathy Walker from Two Needles Pulling Thread, she commented on my comment and said, just do it. And so I, I just did it. <laughs> if you're interested, just do it. You won't be sorry. It's a wonderful sampler. Okay, now here's one you haven't seen for a while. Well, you've seen it in my whip parade but I had it out this a couple weeks ago and I'm still I did start the whale <laughs> this is Riley Harbor by Kathy Barrick and I just love this piece so much but I'm really debating over the whale color in the end I started it with stormy night you can't really see the color here, but it's got gray and tan undertones in it. It's classic color works. And this is on 32 count. Uh, is it 32? I think it might be 28 count. Ale fabric. And that's the start of my whale right here. And I'm still not sure of the of that color. It doesn't have, you don't see the vari the variegation like I had hoped you would. You do see it some, but not nearly as much as I had hoped. Uh, I, st I stitched a couple of nights on it and, and then I put it away again because I'm still just not sure. And the called for color piece, the one that I have, there's even less vari variegation in it than this it has. So you're not gonna see. But it does have a purplish tinge, if you'll notice there, to the whale. And I have a gray, I don't have it here in this bag, I don't think. Oh, there it is right there on the wall. This is a Baldani variegated gray. It's, it's uh, very, very, it's very variegated. You can see it plain. But 
when I lay it against the fabric, it does have quite a purpley hue to it. And I was afraid I wouldn't like that, but it probably will look a lot like the pattern. So I may stitch a couple rows in this before I even take this out and see what I think of that. And then I'll make a decision. Anyway, we'll see. But I'm, I'd love to get this done and, and framed. It's, it's so beautiful. It's very, it's very uh, maritime-ish. I love it. I am participating in WIPGO and my WIPGO calls for February was the winter trio, which is why I got that out and finished it. And I never would have finished that trio, that first one, if I had not been participating in WIPGO. So that was really good. So that was number three. And the other one for February was Prairie School of Santa. And if you've been around a while, you know I start a Prairie School Santa every year on New Year's on Christmas Eve. And I'm trying to do the Prairie Schooler Santas that are relevant, that the dates are relevant, relevant to our family. So the one I started this year was 1984, which was the year we got married. Mm, am I telling you the truth? No. <laughs> the one I did last year was that. This year is 1989, which is this one. And that was the year we had our daughter. So this is my progress on that so far. I do not stick to prairie schooler colors i know it's awful i changed the red to 321 because i love true christmas red and i changed the green to 3345 anyway i think this is my fourth one this is the one i did last year which was 1984 on the other side of the fabric <laughs> Anyway, I'm stitching it on 18 count beige Ada, and I'm stitching two over two, which I probably never would have done that. Uh, this, four years ago when I started the first one, I never thought twice about doing two over two. But now that I've stitched more on several different counts, I probably would have done one over one, or one over two. But anyway, I love the rich fullness of the color, so it's all good. And my last whip is from my 12 by 12 New Year's Eve starts. And I am doing the Carol Emmer. Uh, Santa Clauses. That are in several of the cross stitch ornaments magazine. Um, I thought it had opened to the page, but obviously not. This is the one I'm working on now. So I finished one. I think I showed that in my last in my last video. This one is called Santa in Fur. And I'm real close to a finish on this one. They're all on this. Well, this is the one I finished last time. Oh, I just love him so much. <laughs> so rich. And then this is this time. This is this month. I shouldn't say this month, but the next one. So really, I've got to finish his eyes and some of his features up close on his face. And his hit the front of his coat, the fur. And then there, there'll be a little bit of back stitching, not a whole lot. Not as much in this one as there was in the in the first one. And they are being stitched on 36 count, I'm pretty sure it's ale, one over one. And they are really fun to stitch. So as soon as I get that one done, what you want, uh, Ozzy? What? As soon as I get that one done, I will move on to 
there, there were five. I had five of them from magazines. And so I started one, I started all five on Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, sorry. Okay, so that's it for my whips. Um, only stitching once a month has certainly <laughs> given me lots to show you this time. Um, I wanted to mention a couple of floss tubers. I watched Hobbies of Holly. She just put out her second one, I think it was, and she is just lovely. I don't think I mentioned her last time, but I may have. Uh, she has had a very um, trying month. Her, one of her little grandsons has been very ill, and she's asked for prayer many times for him, and uh, right now he's doing a little better. But she is just the sweetest, loveliest lady. <laughs> so I've really enjoyed watching her. And for the first time, I watched The Tattooed Stitcher. Never watched her before. And I really liked her a lot. She's she's just lovely. So, uh, and I've watched all my regulars. There's so many. I can't list them. They're just, I don't have time to watch them all. I wish I had more time to, to devote to it. I did see someone post, actually it was Holly. Um, two Needles Pulling Thread posted, I think maybe yesterday, and Holly shared it and said she would listen to it while she was driving. I never thought about listening to it. I often listen to a book while I'm driving, but um, I never thought about listening to Foss Tube. I'm afraid I would miss seeing what's being shown, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's my, those are my Floss Tubers for this time. And uh, I did want to mention um, the market, Needlework Market. Such an exciting time for stitchers to see all of these people showing their new pieces. And I, I will show you my favorites from, well, it's hard to pick favorites. There's tons that I would love to stitch. But one that really jumped out at me was Hands-On Designs Botanical Bee. I love it. I love the fabric that it's stitched on. I love the colors. It's just beautiful. I gotta say that Kathy from Hands On Design has mastered the circle. Like her circle finishes are just over the top. They're just incredible. And right along with that, I love the wildflower, gather wildflowers. And again, those circle finishes are just perfect love them and that little quilt block in there oh so cute so cute um and then my other picks from the needle market was from from the needlework market would be like i said there's tons but but um i loved everything from pansy patch pansy patch quilting and stitching i think it's called um come stitch in my garden oh, i love that isn't that cute and home and again if you've been here a while you know home is everything to me so i definitely want to do that and i must say a very uh hearty um thank you to lori from pansy patch she uh her and i had a chance to chat not too long ago and she gave me some great advice and um, I appreciate that so much how willing she was to help uh, someone else who's really just starting out in the in the design business okay a uh, little bit of haul a little bit of let's do um, happy mail I won you know I won a giveaway on Christine's video from Hollis Hands Create. And this is the sampler that I won the pattern. This is Red Work Presentation Sampler by Samplers Remembered. And she included a little project card. Lovely. Whoops. <laughs> so that's nice. And I also won all the lucky things this month. I won um, a giveaway that Deanne's Stitching on the Rock, that's my friend from Newfoundland, 
Um, I won her a giveaway that she did. And if you watch her, or if you don't, you should. She, They've had crazy weather over the past <laughs> two weeks. Our weather here, I mean, we're in the next, we, we are the next province, but they are that that much farther north than us and they got blasted with snow we got mostly rain when they got snow and I'm pretty sure she's in St. John's St. John's by and I'm pretty sure they got two and a half feet in in one weekend and then it wasn't many days after that they got tons of rain so I'm sure they're having a mess over there but anyway I I feel for her but you know me if you've been here a while like I said I love snow I love winter I'm ready for it to be done, but if we get another big blast of snow, it wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> she got, uh, she sent me a sweet little, a sweet card, a cross stitcher piece. That's a Mirabilia piece. And I won this Stony Creek ornament pattern. Cute, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, Deanne and Christine, both of you. And then uh, a good friend that uh, attended the trunk show that I did in Westville, I talked quite a bit about my sampler that I had done, my own design, there at the show. And one of my friends from the group said, I have a sampler in that I've had for years. She didn't really know how old it was. And she said, it's just in a drawer. I'm going to send it to you. So she, sure enough, sent it to me that week. And this is it have no idea how old it might be but it's it's stitched it's like it's linen but it's I don't know how to explain it it's like it's like there's a, a thread between each stitch so oh it's not gonna focus I don't know if you can see that or not in the red there's like she leaves one thread between each square that she makes so I thought that was interesting. Her stitches don't butt right up against each other in any of it. In the lettering, in the tree, they have a gap. I had never seen that before. Anyway, isn't it lovely? It's very old. Um, and it's hand stitched around the edging, like it's just hemmed. Anyway, but she didn't know how old it would it was. So thank you very much, Sheila. I appreciate that. And that was it for my happy mail. I had one little piece of haul. Um, I mentioned pansy patch quilting and stitching. I don't have any of her patterns. I love them all. And I there's so many lovely ones. I really debated over which one I might want. Anyway, I decided to order one, and this is the one I chose. It's red. Are you surprised? It's called Pansy. It's called Red Bunny Sampler, and I love it. I don't have any definite plans to start it, but I really love it. And I got that from the Stitch Bug in Moncton. They're always so easy to deal with and great to put everything anything in the mail and that's it for I just had that little bit of haul I do have three little spring projects that I'm going to show you that I hope to start I'm not sure I'm going to start all three <sighs> huh I forgot about this one being a pansy patch quilts and stitchery piece this was also in in all three of these were in the things that I inherited from the friend that passed away so this one is um, Hester's special delivery and it had all of the threads in there and uh, what the called for fabric was 36 count milk coffee by X Jew designs was the fabric but I will choose something from my stash and then I really love this Brenda Jubay or with a needle and thread piece 
This is, what's it called? The Rabbit and the Rose. Love that. So that is a possible. And then this also is a Brenda Gervais piece and it's called Welcome Spring. So all three of those are on my radar for the next couple of weeks. Um, I am stitching a, I'll show you this, you've seen it, but I'm sure you've seen this. Let me check. Mm. Yes, I would have shown you that in my last video. I think. <laughs> this is my own True Patriot Love Quaker. If I did not show it in the last video, it's available as a PDF in my shop. <laughs> yes, I know I did. I'm sure I did. Anyway, it has some Canada provincial fabric on the back and I really love how it turned out. It's on 36 count and I stitched one over two and I have started a spring one. So you may remember I did um, God Bless Us Everyone at Christmas time in red and green and then I did this one for Flag Day which was the first part of February and now I'm stitching a spring one. So stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have that to show you in my next floss tube finished and ready to go. And the last thing I want to show you, got that and I got that, that. My music stopped uh, in the other room, but the dogs have not heard anything outdoors. That's good. Um, two, I have two, I had uh, 12, I posted 12 project bags. Uh, I think it was a week ago tomorrow. And I have two left. So there are two left in the shop and they are uh, Snowman Gatherings from Primitive Gatherings, Lisa Bonjean fabric. And this one. So they are in the shop as of right now. So if you're interested in them, run on over to my Etsy shop. The link is in my show notes below. So that's it for me. Um, life is lovely. Um, busy. I have been home a lot, but I'm busy at home. I, like I said, April, uh, May is always a busy month for shows and things like that. So definitely I'm preparing for that, making kits and whatnot for my, for upcoming workshops. I will say if you are in Nova Scotia, I think I have, um, it's on my phone, my list. I have several shows, three at least, four, four, one, two, three, three in May maybe and four one in June, maybe four in May. I can't remember. Anyway, if you are in Nova Scotia and you have a group, um, doesn't have to be a guild, but a stitching group of, you know, if you, if you're interested in my trunk show where I show all my quilts and I take my patterns for you to shop, I love doing them. They are a lot of fun. I really enjoy interacting with all the people and it's a good way to get my patterns seen. So if you are in Nova Scotia, I, I would even be willing to go like to Prince Edward Island the right time of year and New Brunswick. Yeah, you know, I, I would consider that. So if you're interested, please get in touch with me. I have my, e my email addresses below and you can contact me. That's probably the best way to contact me so that I can remember to look back at it there. Anyway, thank you so much for being with me today. Um, I should have said that I did mention the weather a little bit but mostly I was talking about Newfoundland um I'm Canadian we talk about the weather we had a we had some snow here in our yard we're surrounded by trees and our snow lingers um on the ground and I I'm pretty sure this is the earliest that a week ago we had no snow on the ground pretty sure it was the earliest that I can remember in the 40 years that we've been here that the snow was gone 
this early in March. And then we had snow Tuesday, I think it was. We had about three to four inches. And so that is still like looking out my front window, you can still see it in the ditches and there's quite a bit still in the backyard, but there's none on the front yard lawn. And anyway, so, but you know, it's still winter. We're going to see snow. We'll, we'll have some snow in, in April. We may even have a little snow in May. It, it would, it certainly wouldn't be the first time. So yeah. <laughs> It is what it is. I live in Nova Scotia and I love winter and it doesn't bother me in the least. <laughs> anyway, hurricane season starts next. <laughs> so we'll prepare for that. And, and uh, no, not in the wildfire season. I think that starts this week. And last year, Nova Scotia had some pretty horrific um, wildfires and a lot of people lost their homes. And yeah. And then we had some really horrific incidents with flooding last year. So it's, we've had a crazy year for weather. Winter has been really one of the easiest winters I can remember ever. I don't think we had any storm that we got more than six inches of snow at any point through the whole winter. Maybe one that was six or seven inches, but we certainly never at any point got a foot of snow this year. So yeah, which is, it's, it makes for an easy winter. I love me a good winter storm. <laughs> All right, that's enough weather talk. I hope to be back in less than a month, two to three weeks. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get this uploaded tonight. We'll see. Might happen, might not. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said earlier, if you're new, I would love for you to su subscribe and and stick around and hear what I have to say. Thanks everyone, happy stitching. See you soon.